10. Scum's Wish by Mengo Yokoyari. Hanabi and Mugi appear to have the perfect high school romance, making their classmates jealous. But, the couple holds a secret from their admirers, they are in love with other people and only using their relationship to fill a void. They call this open contract the scum's wish, and the temporary relief proves inadequate in hiding their heartbreak. While lacking in any empathic characters, scum's wish explores the unhealthy coping mechanisms of its subjects with a perverse honesty. Adding to the drama is a number of odd love triangles that give the manga a strong dramatic tone that inevitably leads to a tragic outcome for most involved. 9. Flowers of Evil by Shuzo Ashimi. An introverted student gets caught doing the unthinkable, stealing the gym clothes of his crush in a moment of weakness. This event leads to him forming a contract with the one student who oversaw the event, one which turns his life into a waking nightmare. Covering a large portion of the protagonist's life, Flowers of Evil is one of the few manga series that match the scope and emotional impact of Goodnight Pun Pun. Covering the difficulties of coming of age and the effect mental health can play on youth into adulthood, the series also boasts great visuals. 8. No Longer Human by Junji Ito. Adapted from the novel of the same name by Osamu Desai, No Longer Human follows the inevitable downfall of Oba Yozo. Oba, aware of his loss of humanity, stumbles through life, leaving others dead or broken due to his own carelessness. Master of horror Junji Ito is no stranger to adapting classic works of literature, having worked on such titles as Frankenstein. However, No Longer Human acts as his most successful adaptation, covering the desolation and melancholy of Oba. Despite not having any traditional monsters, the release from Ito is one of his most unnerving and uncomfortable stories from the mangaka. 7. 20th Century Boys Naoki Urasawa After the suicide of a friend, convenience store manager Kenji Endo comes to the conclusion that the passing was related to the growth of a new cult. With him and his childhood friends now targeted, the group comes together to try to protect each other and learn the reason why they are being attacked. Wonderfully exploring how friendships evolve with time, 20th Century Boys balances mystery and character growth with great skill. Created by Naoki Urasawa, best known for the series Monster, the series has a strong narrative approach and stunning visuals fans will be familiar with. 6. A Lollipop or a Bullet by Kazuki Sakuraba and Ikura Sugimoto. Disconnected from others, Nagisa Yamada plugs through school and work with the goal of joining the military to support her family. However, when she meets new student Makuzu Umino, the two form an odd friendship which makes Nagisa question her choices. Leading on a protagonist who struggles with opening up to others, A Lollipop or A Bullet is a complex series that explores themes of abandonment, poverty, social withdrawal, disabilities, and abuse. Thankfully, the title approaches all these subjects with sensitivity and great care towards its subjects. The series might be a short and intense ride, but it is worthy of checking out for fans of psychological manga. 5. Not Simple by Natsume Ono. Ian, a young man from a troubled family background, backpacks across the world in order to find his sister. The story of Ian's life plays backward, starting with him found dead, unwinding a deeply tragic tale of a troubled existence. The story of Ian and the abuse he suffered through his life makes for one of the most difficult reads in all of manga. However, his experience also conveys a profound request for empathy from the reader. Even in beginning with his death, the reader is drawn into the success of his quest to find his sister. Natsume Ono has proven her knack for jumping between genres, having also crafted the impassioned and highly rated samurai series House of Leaves. 4. My Solo Exchange Diary by Nagata Kabi. The follow-up to my lesbian experience with loneliness showed Kabi further exploring her own mental health issues through her work. My Solo Exchange Diary focuses on the creator's insecurity around the release of her debut series and her desire to earn respect among family and peers. Honest and introspective, the work of Kabi has garnered a cult following in the way her work openly explores her own problems. Consequently, those who have had similar struggles can find solace in the manga's ability to make profoundly stunning and comforting work in the face of adversity. 3. My Broken Mariko by Waka Hiroko. After the suicide of her best friend Mariko, Shichan embarks on a quest to lay her ashes to rest away from her abusive father. After stealing the remains, Shichan heads to the ocean overwhelmed by the emotions and memories of her broken friend. A modern standout for Jose Manga, My Broken Mariko explores the void that can be left when losing someone dear. Consequently, the struggle of Shichan becomes a self-destructive trip that feels honest between two people who shared such a deep bond. Adding to the drama, Waka Hiroko's lush art style captures the heartache with an uncomfortable realism that few can achieve. 2. Solanine by Inio Asano. A 20-year-old couple face hardship when Mako Inoue, the only one with a stable job, decides to quit her toxic tenure. Adding strain to the relationship, 
the two begin to aimlessly wonder and reflect on the choices they made and what the future holds for them. While any work from Inio Asano is reflective of his series Goodnight Pun Pun, Solanine presents some of the most tragic characters the mangaka has created. Much like Pun Pun, there is a silver lining that shows the ability of the human spirit to overcome great tragedy. A deeply engaging work, it's an ideal next step for fans to further explore the world of Inio Asano. 1. Homunculus by Hideo Yamamoto Living in his car and attempting to escape a troubled past, the once rich and affluent Susumu Nikoshi is running low on funds. When he is approached by a doctor interested in subjects for experimental surgery, he reluctantly decides to give it a try. The experiment, which involves drilling a hole in his head to reach enlightenment, gives him the power to see fears manifested as monsters. At times disturbing and uncomfortable, Homunculus offers one of the most visceral experiences in all of manga. Part horror, part drama, it is hard not to come away from the series unscathed, as Nikoshi's tragic downfall is steeped in regret and self-loathing. While it may be unnerving, the series wonderfully matches the intense atmosphere of Goodnight Pun Pun. That's it for the video. What other manga should have been made the list? And what do you think about this list tell me in the comments below the like button. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.